Today, we are talking about Michio Hoshino, the talented Japanese nature photographer who lost his life to the unpredictable force of nature. Hoshino's passion for capturing the stunning beauty of Alaskan wilderness was unparalleled. Hoshino tragically underestimated the sheer power and danger of the bears he set out to photograph in the wild. In 1996, Michio Hoshino was handpicked to capture the essence of brown bears in Kamchatka, Russia. With a reputation as one of the top nature photographers, Hoshino was a natural fit for the job. The first few days of filming were smooth sailing, with Hoshino capturing breathtaking footage of the bears in their natural habitat. But then, on the third day, the crew was in for a surprise. They encountered a massive male brown bear in the wilderness who completely undisturbed by their presence. The brown bear was more focused on fishing, paid no attention to the crew as they approached within near yards. This once-in-a-lifetime opportunity gave Hoshino the chance to record some more inspiring footage of the giant bear feasting on salmon just feet away. The bear's relaxed demeanor and close proximity made for truly phenomenal shots. The next day, the crew returned to the same location to find the same bear still present. The bear seemed to bask in the attention, putting on a magnificent show for the camera crew, showcasing its amazing behaviors and actions. On their fourth day in the wilderness, the photography crew set out to witness the majestic bear in its natural habitat. Little did they know, they were about to encounter sheer strength and grace. The giant bear was effortlessly catching and devouring large salmon leaving the crew in awe of its raw power. The crew continued to observe the bear as it put on a truly captivating show, exhibiting its strength and grace as it caught and consumed its prey. The bear's relaxed behavior and proximity to the crew made for some truly remarkable shots, capturing the essence of the wild and the raw power of nature. As the team trekked through the rugged wilderness, they couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. The bear's tracks and feces were a constant reminder that they were in the heart of bear country and that their safety was far from guaranteed. Despite this, they were determined to capture stunning footage of the giant brown bear that had so captivated their imagination. They set their sights on a family of young bears and spent the afternoon capturing some truly remarkable footage of these playful cubs. But as they made their way back to camp, they couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. The bear tracks were everywhere, and the Russian guide was becoming increasingly concerned for their safety. Despite this, Michio, the experienced photographer at the helm of the expedition, was undeterred. He enjoyed the sensation of sleeping outside under the stars, and politely declined the guide's suggestion to sleep inside the cabin. As the night settled in and the team retired for the night, they couldn't help but feel a sense of awe. They were sleeping in the heart of bear country, surrounded by the powerful and magnificent creatures they had come to document. After dinner, Michio Hoshino walked back to his tent, enjoying the peaceful sounds of Lake Carroll. Under the stars, he fell asleep as he gazed up at the night sky, surrounded by the wilderness that he loved. But a dark figure emerged from the shadows in the middle of the night. The massive bear that Michio and the crew had been studying for days had taken an interest in the sleeping photographer, drawn by the scent of a nearby meal. Before any of the crew react, the bear make his move and pounced and tearing through the tent and pulled Michio. The rest of the crew rushed outside, powerless to save their friend and colleague as they watched in horror as Michio was dragged away from his tent. The aftermath was tragic. Officials promptly euthanized the bear after finding Michio's remains in its stomach. Upon investigation, it was determined that the bear had been following the crew for days before attacking them.